What's up, killers? It's your boy, Killer Cam here, and today we are at Charlotte Motor Speedway here, and we're gonna try to get a top five. Feel pretty good about it. We've had a few problems in practice. Third practice, motor was messed up, so let's see how we do in qualifying the race. See you on a little bit. Alright Cam, uh, we just got done watching your qualifying, I got a little bit of that on camera, I'm pretty sure I can go back and look at uh, some flow racing stuff as well. Um, basically I wanted to ask you about your qualifying run, uh, from a third party standpoint it was pretty good, it was clean, you didn't hit the wall, didn't spin, uh, kept it consistent which is pretty good. Uh, I want to know what you're thinking, how the car is running, uh, basically where you're thinking to be standing at at the end of this race. Here we go. I'm hoping to finish top five, but I think in qualifying I did pretty bad. I, I did horrible, I know, but we're still working on it to get better. We're just, it's, we're just, we're still learning. It's, it's fine because we're still learning and we're gonna, we're gonna get better and that's all. All right, well that's good to hear. I'm glad to see that you're still working really hard. I uh, can't wait to see how you finish out in this race. Um, get some water. It's not too hot today, but uh, get ready for the race and I'll see what you do. Stomp the gas. It's the only way we're going to get them. Go past them. If they're leaving you, you drive it harder. Don't just let them leave you. Okay? You look at me. I'm serious. Okay, let's go. All right, you hear me? Are you ready to go? All right, let's go. Love you, buddy. Good luck, Cam. Thank you. Give it to him, buddy. So the track caution lights have been extinguished. 15 laps is the distance, and we are ready to go with the beginners. The Bandolero Bandits, 8 to 11 years of age. These are the ones with a limited experience. They're tucked in behind that cookout pace vehicle. Pace vehicle right about here, going to scamper out of harm's way. We've got barrels around the outside, cookout barrels. Back around the outside, there's a throwback. And green lights are on. We're racing down into turns one and two. Dietrich will get the advantage, D, followed by that number one of Gavin Hall. They'll foul right into single file, but no start. Yellow flags, yellow lights. No. Nick Bubbles Bronson did not like the looks of that one, and he's got a keen eye when it comes to things like that. He's got a keen eye when it comes to a lot of things. But he was keeping a close eye on it, and you can almost see him shaking his head. No siree, not going to happen on that one. Track caution lights are out. Track caution lights are out. Cookout pace vehicle gets out of harm's way again. Aiden Zedrick and Wyatt Coffee this time side by side. A dandy looking start there. Oh, yes.
through some slower traffic. Zedrick dials up the inside lane as we got one the wrong way around and turn number two, yellow flag is out. I think that's Mason Roberts in the number 21. Mason Roberts in the 21 from Churchill, Tennessee. The wrong way around and we're under caution. Roberts gets that car fired back off and we'll go back to green flag racing action here momentarily. And looking to continue on Already a single race winner this season here in that red number two car. Track caution lights are out. A flying restart up off from turn number four. Wyatt Coffee mashes the gas. And we're back up to speed here. Nick Bubbles Bronson with the green flag in the air. See if Corbin Cannon right in the middle of the back straightaway. Yellow flag is out. Oh boy. turn number four so yellow flag is back out here as nine laps have been completed So the field getting reassembled, getting everyone put back into proper order, proper position. And momentarily we'll be back to some green flag racing action here at America's Home for Racing, Charlotte Motor Speedway. Right here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Not going green. Oh. Lenny Baticki, what? Wait a minute. What's that down there? Ew, what's that down on the stage?
Okay, that's fine. What are y'all do? What are you doing on these starts? I'm trying to catch up, but I'm trying not to hit them at the same time. I don't care about that. You and Corbin both got dusted on the last restart. They pulled you almost a straightaway. I mean, why aren't you running in the back of them, pushing them? I was going to try to. No, you weren't. Sometimes you did a good start, sometimes you didn't. You got to bump them, push them. You and Corbin together, y'all should have been pushing, pushing them. You got to get it going early. On lap four, you run a 21-1, then you run a 20-90, and then you fell off when you got close to them. You can't let off. You got to keep applying the pressure. You run a 20-90, yes. That's what I'm saying. You can drive it. You can run fast times, but you got to run them every lap. And we got to work on your passing. When you get close to them, that's when you drive it harder, not let off. You got to be more aggressive, son. All right, this ain't nice. Okay, it's racing. If you can't get by them, move them out of the way. You show good speed, but we got to be more aggressive, okay? Hop out. Back to the speedway where we look at this division. Emil Pecamola is the leader of the battle for second spot. Now is Ben Morabito in that 17 car. The racer out of Miller's place, New York, battles with another New Yorker. Darren Critch from Huntington, New York. They're side by side. Hey guys, we, I just got out the car. There's some positives about the race, some positives, some kind of wrecks. We had a big wreck on the front stretch. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I think I got, I'm, I don't know what's going on with me right now, but a lot of things happened in the race and we had some positives, you know, most of the time we got a lot of bad wrecks, it, was, it didn't even feel like the amount of laps that I was supposed to do, there was so many wrecks and I don't get it, so I gotta say for today, bye!